Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our Outer Banks reaction. I know it's been a little bit since the My Druthers episode, but I do have some big news. We are getting close to season number four of Outer Banks coming to Netflix. I think it comes in like October, early October, something like that. I think I forget the exact date. I think it might be the 9th or the 10th or something like that. Sometime in early October of this year. So that means that we got to go into overdrive for this series. Because we're only in season number 2. We got to get through season 2 and season 3 before October whenever, 10th or whatever, for the new season so we can react to it during when it's on. So that's going to be a little bit tricky for me. So I'm going to have to go into overdrive and pump out like a bunch of these videos really, really quickly to get through them. So I hope you guys are excited because we are going to be going super speed, super sonic speed uh, to try to get these videos out before the new season drops. Now, I do think that they are taking a little bit of a break in between the season, like halfway through the season, how shows have been doing for some reason recently. So I think like, they're probably going to do the first half of the season in October. And then I think I saw something where the next half of the season is going to be like in November. So we are going to have a little bit of a time break in there to try to catch up with these seasons or with these episodes. But I'm going to try my best to get through it all before October 10th. I know we don't have much time. We basically got, what, like 15 days, something like that. We don't have much time. It's going to be hard to do, but I think we can get it done. So, uh, it's going to be pretty tough. But, to recap last episode, basically, it was the craziest episode of all time. I mean, Ward blew himself up on his boat. And Sarah was there to see it. And it was the craziest thing ever. And now we have to see the ramif ramifications of that how is Sarah going to recover from seeing her dad blow up? Well, she didn't technically see him blow up, but she he was on the boat and she was there and she that's what happened. So how is she going to be handling that? How is John B. going to respond to her feeling that way? Topper was there. Topper was comforting her, not John B. How is that dynamic going to go? There's a lot of stuff that we got to get taken care of in today's episode, and I'm excited to watch it. I hope you guys are too. Let's get through episode number seven of season two. I think it is called, yes, it is called The Bonfire. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the G-School, buckle in, because we got a lot of videos coming down the pipe. Let's get into season two, episode seven of Outer Banks, The Bonfire. Big John Rutledge. Oh, he came out and said it on the video. Woo! Sheriff Peterkin. Oh, he just put it all out there. He's going crazy. Man, he left himself a final diary. Like uh, Tony Stark in Avengers Endgame. I love you 3000. I don't know if he loves them 3000. He might. Oh, don't give... No, don't give the... Th oh, what are we doing here, Sarah? What are we doing here? Oh, this is unbelievable. Sometimes some things just are meant to be. So it, it, was, it was never going to be too complicated when your dad was going to be in prison, but now that he's dead, now it's too complicated because John B. looked happy. You knew how John B. felt about him. Why? Say there's the bonfire afterward if you want to go. Oh, great bonfire! Yeah, because because any event where the Pogues and the and the bonfire, whatever the the Kooks, anytime all those people are together, that always goes well. Five minutes of pleasure for a lifetime of pain. Pope, are we really doing this again? You're really gonna be Mr. Down on their luck, okay. sad about your relationship Let's guy today. Me. What are we doing here? Um, I, I didn't even see it coming. You didn't see it coming? Oh, Pope. Potato, 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 chew. Oh, impressive, guys. Oh. What are you guys doing down here? A million dollars. A month for 1.7? Jeez. Hey, don't you freak out on me. That's literally Wait. what he does every single episode. Hey, he freaks Wait. out. Fuck! Exactly. Oh! I know that's how everyone feels when they get dumped. 
Trust I don't like me. where this is going. <laughs> anyway, she's a, it's over. She's a little too Stand forward right now. To every guy. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. That's a good man right there. He's not gonna fall for her devilish ways. I got nothing against him, right? I really don't. Just in, oh my god, like Topper, can you go one minute without complaining about John B? My god. Yeah, I thought so. I just. I... Oh no, now they both know each other's here. And he sees her with Topper. This, oh my god, John B. He like, he sees red when he sees Topper. My God, Topper, let it go! Oh, don't kiss her. Don't oh. kiss. Thank you, thank you, Sarah. Oh, um, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They I sell Mai Tais in a can. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't realize that. You can tell I don't drink. <laughs> I didn't know they sold Mai Tais in a can form. Man, she is like all up in it. Oh, here we go. Tonight, yeah, Why does she have a bottle cap as her necklace yeah. thing? Ooh. Seems a little Thank weird. You. Is it something I forget? Does she get it during the series? Sure. I forget. Everything. Oh, too bad. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Right, yeah, yeah. Now you're kind of a douche, you. Topper. Right. I mean, you're kind of a bad guy. Is everyone? Hello? <laughs> oh. The island room was there the whole time? Now that's pretty awesome. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. But how did how did the Limbries know that? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. That's uh that's quite the little uh, twist there. I don't know if it's technically a twist. It's more like a reveal, I guess, that the island room was there the whole time, just covered up by, I'm assuming, tacky wallpaper. <laughs> but uh, this episode was crazy. Not as crazy as last episode, obviously, because we didn't have any death. But we had some pretty intense fights. Like, the, that was one of the most obvious things that was ever going to happen. Of course, when you get... The Cougs and the and the Pogues together. Of course, they're gonna fight. That's the most obvious thing ever. So that was pretty pretty obvious to point out. But then the whole the whole Sarah and John B thing. Okay, so let's let's talk about it. this. Is what these end of video discussions are for? It's to get our feelings out about what we just watched. So so Sarah knew. She knew how John B. felt about her dad. They've even had discussions about possibly John B. Or uh, possibly Ward dying at some point. Like, they've had discussions in the past about that. I know they had discussions about him going to prison, too. But they've talked about what if Ward died. And she knew how he felt about him. Because of all of the stuff that he put him through. Ward literally killed his dad. He tried to get him uh, put in jail for murder of a police officer literally like put this man on a witch hunt and Sarah is just gonna yeah I get the the extreme circumstances of the situation where Sarah's in this shock state because her dad dramatically explodes on a boat I understand the the immediate shock of the situation I get that but she knew beforehand how he felt so the fact that, yes, maybe it's a little cold for John B. to not show any emotion at all in the moment, but she knows how he feels, and the fact that she looks up at him and expecting him to be, like, sad or crying? Like, why would she ever expect him to do that? She knows all the stuff that he's been put through by Ward. So, I don't know why she got so upset to the point where she broke up with him, and then goes straight to Topper and does the exact same thing that John B did. And then she gets mad at John B for moving on so quickly, even though she did the exact same thing. And she did it even quicker because John B was a little hesitant. She was a little hesitant. He was a little hesitant with that girl. But once he saw her with, with Topper, uh, then he started to let loose a little bit. But 
Sarah, went, I mean, I know, I know she was hesitant on the kiss. Obviously, the topper was trying to give her at the at the beginning of the bonfire. But still, she, like, the first person she thinks to go back to is Topper. I mean, like, what? Why did she? Women. Women are frustrating. <laughs> and I understand that a lot of my audience is women. Uh, so that might not go over too well. But, oh, man. Uh, that's, uh, this, the Sarah John B drama in this episode felt so un so uh, annoying because like i get i understand the, the serious nature of of what sarah's going through her dad just died in this drastic dramatic fashion and it's this immediate like how are you feeling like i get she's in shock and she's she's sad and she's she's broken up i understand her her feelings and everything like that but i mean she knew what he did to, to John B. Why would she ever think that he was going to show any emotion? Why would she, why would she be upset about that? I like, I get, like I said before, I get that, that John B probably shouldn't have smiled. That's probably not the right thing to do, but which I don't think he did. I think he was just kind of like in shock as well <laughs> as everybody was, but he has, he's been put through the ringer with Ward and Sarah expects him to be torn up, be sad, be show any emotion. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. But that is pretty crazy. And then we got the whole Limbry storyline where she just knew. Is that something that I'm forgetting? Uh, that did they know where the island room was from the from previous episodes? Because they immediately go to the Cameron estate and they know that it's in that 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 room so and then they know that it's like under the wallpaper like just because they have the key now they know i maybe it is maybe they told us that they knew and i'm just forgetting that's possible uh you guys know that i have a bad memory but like this the the brother-in-law or the the half brother whatever he is um he's 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 very very annoying <laughs> and of course he's a, a ranger a, a army ranger because that just of course he is <laughs> oh but that was that was fresh. I was really hoping that Pope would have like a, an extra, another fake key because that would be like the perfect thing. But no, he just gave him the real key. Pretty crazy episode. Pretty crazy, crazy episode. Then you got the whole uh, Rafe and the mom. I forget the mom's name uh, or the stepmom, I guess. I, I forget her name. But you got that whole uh, plot line where I, I, I believe Rafe would kill her. I mean, he's killed everybody else. Why wouldn't he kill her too? So he's, he's off the deep end, man. Rafe is, Rafe is going crazy. Like I, I kind of respect it on like a psychopath level. I respect it, but he's, he's, uh, he's not, he's not well basically. So we're going to see what, uh, what he gets up to. I'm assuming it's going to be more dastardly, destuck, destructive, crazy stuff he's going to be getting into. So Another good episode. I enjoyed it. And we are getting close to the end of the season. I think there's 10 episodes left. Or 10 episodes, not left. 10 episodes in the season. And we are just finishing up episode 7. So we've only got 3 episodes remaining. And then we've got season 3, hopefully, to get done before October, whatever it is. 10th or whatever, when the new season drops. Uh, so we can watch that while it's going on. But yeah, this was a good episode. I enjoyed it. Expect... At least in theory, a lot of videos very, very rapidly on the channel because uh, I need to get through these. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. If you have any comments, as always, on any of my, I know I don't always say it, but if you ever have any comments on any of my videos, uh, just leave them down below. We can have discussions. I like talking to you guys. You guys are great. So, uh, if you have any comments, thoughts, discussion points, things you agree with or disagree with, with, uh, what I've said in the video, let me know down below. We can talk, we can have a, a dialogue, we can go back and forth. I love that. So you guys are awesome. So without further ado, it is time to say goodbye. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.